Hi guys, this is Gabe Ramirez with another uh, tutorial. In today's tutorial, I actually want to show you guys this pretty cool um, app web application that one of my viewers uh, sent to me. It's called OwnCloud, and what this is, it's if you've used Google Docs, it's like Google Docs um, for storage, or it's also like um, Dropbox for storage. It has a desktop client and it also has a mobile client this is all free with the exception of the mobile client the mobile client costs 99 cents which for what you're actually getting is not very much it's an easy install and I'll go over um, the install process in this video and I'll show you guys how to install it how to log in and how to create a folder and a file uh, the next few videos will I'll go in more depth and I'm um, using the application and also I will be touching security because that's when what one of the view, my viewers actually requested to show them how to make this a little more secure it's just a simple it's just a bare bones it's just a PHP web app and there's certain sta security standards you that you have to apply to kind of try to get this as secure as possible but like anything else um, Hackers will always will always find a hole. That's just the nature of things. So let's get started. First of all, go to um, owncloud.org, uh, which is owncloud.org. Once you're there, you're here at this landing page. You could read the latest Twitter posts. I subscribe to the twi their Twitter post. Um, on here it says introducing owncloud six, access, sync, and share. Um, host it yourself or find the host. Uh, if you're here, you probably um, first of all, you're learning about OwnCloud for the first time, and if you subscribe to my video, you kind of are a do-it-yourselfer um, and have your own server and know how to install uh, a server and probably admin the server. So I would click Host OwnCloud Yourself. It gives you three options. It gives you a zip file or tar file. Uh, it gives you a web installer. It gives you, gives you a Linux package. A zip, a zip installer is pretty straightforward. It actually just gives you the source files, which is just a PHP folder. Uh, the web installer is what we'll be using. I actually like that. That's my favorite. And the Linux package. Um, honestly, I don't like the Linux, Linux package. I don't think it should be a Linux package. But they do have one. Um, the web installer, I like it because you could install it wherever you want in your web directory. So let's get started by clicking on web installer. Uh, right click this file save it once you save it just upload it to the root of uh, your website where you want it and I'll be sh starting the tutorial from this portion portion to upload set up um, hyphen own cloud PHP to your web space I've already done that to my ask hyphen gave dot com um, and then I've navigated to the file that I uploaded and it takes you here it says setup wizard welcome to the own cloud setup wizard this wizard will check the own cloud dependencies download the newest version of own cloud install it in a few simple steps perfect um you might get some errors um if you're running like su php or if you um are running the custom php installer file if you do well let me know those are pretty easy to fix click on next select the directory you want it in own cloud is fine click next And right now I'm going to pause it and continue once it's done. Okay, all the source files have been downloaded and installed to the own cloud directory. So own cloud is now installed. Click on next. So as you can see up here, it forwards you to the own cloud directory it created. Then this first login that you have here, it says own cloud, create an admin account. So I'm going to create an admin account. Um, just Gabriel. Um, you don't want to, you want to stay away from admin. That's not a good habit. Admin is kind of um, the default a lot of programs use. Admin, administrator, and that is uh, not pretty good from a security standpoint because all they have to do is brute force your password. They already know what the user is. So password, create your own password. I'm going to create mine. Um, I do recommend a passphrase, not a password. So I'll have a video talking about that. 
um, in the future. So finish that up. So it's just creating all the, the files and everything. It says, welcome to Home Cloud. Your personal web services, all your files, contacts, calendars, and more in one place. Get the apps to sync your files. The desktop app, that's an amazing app. But unfortunately, right now, the link to that is not working on their website. Um, they have the Android app and the iPhone app. In the next video, I'll show you how to how to use these um, these clients. They're very powerful, and they are very very useful. So that's it for this video. The next video will I will be showing you how to actually use those apps and how to use OwnCloud. Thanks for watching, and look for that video um, very soon.